My name is Dawn Brown, and I'm going to read you a story about Harriet Tubman. She was a pretty amazing woman. Her inspirational line for today that we need to think about in terms of how it affects our lives is, I find in myself the power to do what is right. I think you'll find in what I'm going to read to you that Harriet Tubman knew what was right and knew what she had to do to help people find freedom. So let's read the story. It's called Harriet Tubman's Willpower. In the year 1820, so you're talking 200 years ago, almost all black people in the United States were slaves. Slaves had no rights, they were owned by another person and had no choice about their lives. Harriet Tubman was born to parents who were slaves, and that meant Harriet was a slave too. Harriet's mother and father could not protect her from the cruelties of slavery, and she was forced to work hard from a very young age. She took care of babies and did work in the master's house and out in the fields. I have some pictures I'm going to show you of what that might have been like. Here's a picture of a slave girl taking care of her master's baby. This is not her baby. She's taking care of her owner's baby. And then here's a picture of some slaves working in the fields. They had to work really hard and they didn't get paid. They've got whatever room and food the master would give them and that's it. We don't believe it's right to own people. People are not meant to be owned. So here we have Harriet and she's working very hard as a child. Even as a little child, she was sent out in the winter to check muskrat traps. Muskrats are large rodents that live underwater in the dens and tra they're trapped for their fur. Harriet had to walk waist deep in freezing water and retrieve dead muskrats. Although she never learned to read or write, Harriet was smart and was always listening, watching, and learning. She was never a slave in her heart and never accepted that she was unworthy because she was black or because she was a girl. She learned to pad herself with extra clothing for protection during frequent beatings. When Harriet was about 11 years old, she boldly refused an order from a white man to help stop his runaway slave. Sorry. Instead, she stood back and let the slave run by her. The man angrily threw a heavy metal weight after the runaway, and instead it hit Harriet in the head. The weight broke Harriet's skull and almost killed her. Unfortunately, this kind of cruelty to slaves was not uncommon, and Harriet wasn't even given medical care. She recovered, but she suffered for the rest of her life with pain and seizures and blackouts as a result of that injury. She couldn't read, but she was told stories from the Bible and Harriet had a deep inner life of prayer. She always tried to follow the guidance she felt came from God, and everyone who knew her said she showed amazing inner strength and appeared to be fearless. After years of struggle and thinking about being free, Harriet heard that she was to be sold and taken further south, where freedom would be impossible to find. She prayed and planned an escape. She took two of her brothers with her, but her brothers became scared and turned back. It was too frightening to be out in the dark woods, possibly getting lost, shot, or recaptured. Harriet didn't want to give up, but she went back with them. Then Harriet prayed and planned again. She wouldn't let anything stop her this time. Second time, she went alone traveling almost 100 miles to Pennsylvania, 
where blacks were free. She could have stayed in Pennsylvania and lived a safe life, but Harriet had decided she needed to help others escape a life of slavery. So instead of staying, she went back to the South and led others to freedom. She could have been caught and killed or sold and taken far away, but she went anyway. Harriet made 19 dangerous trips to the South and brought many of her family and friends and even strangers to a new life where they were no longer slaves. I have a pictures of some people that were trying to escape slavery and get to freedom. And this is even a drawing that some artists did to show Harriet Tubman leading people to freedom. She was a brave woman. Harriet used all her courage and willpower to make the trips. There were rewards given to people who turned in runaway slaves and anyone willing to help had to do it in secret. The people and secret places that were used to get slaves to freedom were called the Underground Railroad and Harriet was called a conductor. Harriet often disguised herself as a man or an old person so she and her passengers wouldn't be caught. She gave babies medicine so they would be quiet and not cry while they were hiding. If anyone wanted to give up and go back, she refused to let them. She said a slave who went back would be beaten or killed and forced to give away secret information that would endanger others. Every trip was double risk for Harriet because she had to travel to the people who wanted help and then travel back to the north with them. There were many angry slave owners who would have killed her for what she was doing. Yet Harriet never gave up and never lost one passenger. Her most important trip was going back to her former home and getting her parents to come north with her. They lived the rest of their lives in Canada where they had the joy of knowing freedom. Harriet was a small, uneducated black woman who lived during a time when black people could be bought and sold and women of any race had very few rights. She had a lifelong debilitating illness that would have kept most people from even leaving their home. She was always poor and had to work hard every day just to survive. Yet during Harriet's long life of 93 years, she repeatedly proved that by applying willpower in the right direction, with determination and an open heart, there are unlimited possibilities. Her determination to do what was right and help others was an inspiration to slaves and those who were free, to women and men, to those in the North and South, to people of every race and color, to generations who came after her. And here's a picture of Harriet Tubman. She has kind of a determined look on her face. She was really brave. I find within myself the power to do what is right. Harriet found that power with the help of God to go and do what she knew was right, which was to bring people to freedom. Picture yourself in the nighttime trying to escape something that was really scary. And here was this woman that was willing to come help you do it. They must have thought she was just wonderful. She's very, very brave. I hope you enjoyed this story about Harriet Tubman, a real person who lived about 200 years ago. Thanks for listening.